I'd like to talk about the connection between pestilence and lack of justice in society. There are Hebrew scholars, ancient scholars, and it's also biblical, for, exist, uh, for example, in the book of Amos, one of the prophets, that when there is a lack of justice in government and immoral leadership, that plague and pestilence comes. Because the Almighty is the creator and the king of the universe, and he stands for justice, righteous justice. So what injustice am I speaking about? Of course, the, uh, there is the inequality of, of race relations, you know, people with uh, light, so-called white skin uh, are treated better. I have news for you. That doesn't always work. Believe it or not, I get pulled over by the police. Me, a senior citizen, I mean, I think I look pretty innocent. I mean, do I look like maybe a Mother Teresa type? Um, anyway, uh, I think it's because I wear a headscarf. The most uh, recent pulling over by the police, I was driving my pickup truck, which I have because I used to live on a farm, and uh, the lights came on behind me, and right away I'm stressed out because these days police are scary, and this has been going on for decades. Anyway, the, the first thing I said, I pulled into a gas station, I said to the officer, is there something wrong? What did I do? And his answer is, are you the owner of that truck? Now, is it any way possible to imagine someone who looks like me, who acts like me, who speaks like me, would steal a pickup truck? I mean, <laughs> at my age? Anyway, I said, yes, it's my truck. Then, um, then he told me that I changed lanes when there was a solid line, and I told him, well, I was in the wrong lane, and there was no other traffic there, nothing. He said, it doesn't matter, you can't do that. So he let me go. And another time, a few years ago, I was driving in a school zone, and there was this van driving right next to me, keeping right next to me, um, you know, like driving in tandem, and that's illegal, and you, you can't see what's around you. So I sped up a tiny bit to get away from them. So there are the lights behind me again. And, of course, I always read in the driver's handbook, if there's a lights on or siren, there's a police vehicle behind you, you pull over, pull over to the right. That's what I did, and I stopped, and I waited. And he comes up to my window, and he's angry, very angry. And that was really stressing me out. And he said, why didn't you pull into that open driveway? He meant the driveway of the school. And I just didn't know what to say because I was so nervous. I just went like this. What I should have said was, well, I always learned that when there's a policeman, you pull over to the side and you stop. So anyway, he was angry the whole encounter. And he asked me, why was I speeding? I said, because there was this van next to me and it wouldn't, it wouldn't get away from me. He said, that doesn't matter. You can't speed ever. So he gave me a ticket and I had to go to, you know, those classes to get points removed from your driving record. So I don't understand why, why someone is hired to be a police officer if they have anger issues they can't control their emotions, um, if they're so nervous or stressed, I, I just don't get it. I mean, where's the old-fashioned police officers that you see in old movies? You know, they're smiling, they're friendly with everyone in the neighborhood, they know everyone. Anyway, the, uh, of course, there's, there's plenty of other lack of justice in our society. I'm talking about the United States, because this is where... I was born where I live. Um, let's take the Navajo Nation. Why are they lacking clean water? I mean, 
all these years they they still are treated bad? Isn't this absurd? Um, so I I had a a, a repairman here, a locksmith, two days ago, and he was African American, and I I wanted to say something to him about current events. So I said to him as he was leaving, you know, don't feel bad that the police pull you over and treat you bad. They do the same thing to me. So um, think think about the way uh, the way the economy is, how the prices keep going up, inflation keeps going up. I mean, I'm I'm paying more and more money for the most simple basic ingredients you can imagine. I'll, I'll get um, let me see about this size. Uh, what is that? About 16 ounces of cornmeal. I mean, how much simple can I get? I mean, I can't eat the, the bark off the trees um, or, or the grass like my dog eats sometimes. So prices keep going up. What can I do? I keep budgeting and um, try. What else can we do? Try and eat less. So there's no there's no justice in the economy. Um, the people that are making the laws are living very, very well, and and each election, um, you just have to pick the least worst of who's running, and it, it's getting very tiring. And the only advice I can give people is just try to be a, a decent, moral person, have some kind of a, a guiding light in your life, some philosophy. And uh, hopefully the Almighty would just single you out and protect you from all the foolishness and evil around. And if you have to go through certain things, just go through them and try and learn what you can. At the very least, if you've suffered whatever, you can help other people who are going through the same thing. So keep this in mind. Pestilence comes from a lack of justice. And don't you be guilty of any injustice of anyone you have duty to in your life. Do your duty and, and be nice. And the people who are not nice to you, just remind yourself, uh, well, they're clueless. You know, maybe they had some kind of terrible trauma in their life and they just can't get out of that. And that's, that, that's what guides their emotions and their thoughts. Just be nice and try to help people and... Mind your business and don't gossip. And uh, you know, I like to use the Bible and, and you know other other spiritual books. And I use the original Bible that uh, Rabbi Jesus used. He didn't have the New Testament, and you know it was good enough for him. Although the New Testament is, is there's plenty of good things in it. But keep in mind the basic rules are in the uh, English translation of the Hebrew Bible and other religions uh, that people have around us you know there's good things in there also it's good to, to study these things I guess that's it for today pestilence comes from a lack of justice <laughs>